Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. Someone's O has got to go. Two undefeated champions, two people who have never lost inside the ring as a professional, and they are about to go head to head on December 1st for the WBC World Championship and the lineal status that is carried by Tyson Fury. The WBC Championship is carried by Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is the man who beat the man in the WBC ranks, and Tyson Fury is the lineal champion who is the man who beat the man, Vladimir Klitschko. So, Worlds collide. This fight should have happened possibly two years ago, but it has been put off until now. But we don't mind a bit. This fight is still going to be mega. In my humble opinion, this fight does not go to distance. I've said before, and I'm going to say it again. It will not go past the 8th round, I don't believe. I may be stupidly wrong, and possibly I might be, but I just don't see it going past the 8th round. I think that Deontay Wilder is going to look to take Tyson Fury out as soon as possible. He'll take him out there in the first round if he can, if he can land that shot. And so will Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury wants to make a statement also. He wants to show that he has that knockout power, as people are doubting him that he has that one-punch knockout. So he's going to be looking for that also. But I think that Deontay Wilder will be on his feet a lot more for this fight. He will be a lot more elusive, otherwise he's just going to get jabbed and pop shotted all night. So he's going to be a lot more better on his feet and be elusive, like I said. And Tyson Fury, obviously, he's going to be putting more power into his punches if he can. Tyson Fury has been training well and he's looking in great shape. He's in trim, but also he's added Freddie Roach to his corner and Ricky Hatton, which is great to have that experience in there. But I have recently heard that Freddie Roach said he wants Tyson Fury to fight Southpaw, which I think is a good game plan, if I'm honest, because then, I mean, he's going to be more tricky and no one really likes fighting Southpaws, no matter the magnitude of their skills at all. They just don't like facing Southpaws. They're awkward and sometimes hard to hit. And that's what Tyson Fury is going to do, probably, if Freddie Roach says that's what he's going to do or that's what he wants him to do. This does cause a bit of friction, I'd imagine, with Ben Davison, his actual trainer, I mean, you've got to listen to the experience. Freddie Roach has done this many, many times, so he knows what he is doing. And that is what I think he is doing there, really, just to add a bit more knowledge and experience to the corner of Tyson Fury, because Ben Davison is very, very young. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It just means that when Tyson Fury does get stuck in, and maybe if he gets into trouble, he needs to walk back to that corner and have an experienced head in his corner. And Ricky Hatton obviously has great experience also, so he will have that in his corner and that's a great team to have around him a great young trainer who is enthusiastic and wants to prove that he is a great trainer that he always thought he could be and also having Ricky Hatton with the experience and Freddie Roach obviously with the experience now Freddie Roach will be his cut man but I will imagine he will be whispering in Tyson Fury's ear throughout the fight now there is a rematch clause put in the contract if Deontay Wilder loses but I don't think there will be any need for a rematch because I think if Deontay Wilder wins then Tyson Fury won't have a rematch clause and won't be able to activate that. But I think if Tyson Fury wins, I think it will be too definitive for Deontay Wilder to warrant having a rematch or want one. So I think after this fight, there will be a clear winner. I don't think there will be any need for a rematch. So even if Tyson Fury does win, it doesn't really cause problems for Anthony Joshua and his April 13th date and possibly an undisputed fight because I just don't see there being a rematch because Tyson Fury will beat him well then again, so will Deontay Wilder beat Tyson Fury well if he does. This is one of those fights where one of them is going to shine and show how good they really are. That's what I believe deep down. I think one of them will propel themselves onto the world stage with this fight. But that's just my humble opinion. Please let me know yours in the comments below. Please also like, share and subscribe to the channel, Quench Boxing and Sport.